Hey, what's happening? Uh, here's just a couple of things. Again, been super busy, working on a lot of other projects that I'm happy doing, and procrastinating a lot on trying to get some of these done because I've been catching up with a lot of stuff. <laughs> with stuff going on, you just don't want to sit around on your ass and edit all day. And I've been, basically the last five days now, I've been just listening to They Might Be Giants over and over and over and over again on repeat while I'm doing other projects. But anyway, here's a list of some manga that seems very interesting that I'm like, I just kind of glanced over looking at stuff and right up my alley and see what you think about if you heard of it and how some of these I feel like should get some anime out of this because we need more of this. And you know what I'm going to be talking about? Etchy content, more don't care about if it's sex or nudity or violence or language or adult shit anymore because we don't have that anymore, it seems, in my anime. One or two, but a lot of stuff gets tamed down nowadays. And it's sad, so here's some list of things that I feel like interesting. I might want to check out more, and I might break some of these up later on to make separate videos for each one of them for some because there's a lot to, to go through and see what you guys all think. Well, here we go. Tama Kick. Now, I've heard about this one, like, last year, and then I forgot to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it, but I forgot to talk about it, so I'll talk about it now. Comedy Etchy Seinen started in June of 2017. Kick to the ball. Huh, huh. So, you know, uh, kind of a play on there. Erotic comedy, kick to the ball. Mm, kick to the ball, your balls. Uh, it sounds kind of something. Centers on Ayane Kurozumi, beautiful detective with legs that can take down anything. I like that idea. The art looks really nice. She looks really nice. It looks kind of different. Takes various jobs as she gets proper monetary compensation. That's all I know from... And apparently the author of it drew hentai. Also drew Prince's Resurrection. It's an etchy title. Borderline hentai, basically. And the author's into humiliation stuff. Though. That's the humor and the finish. Which, whatever, you know. I think the art looks pretty nice. Uh, lots of nudity... Full frontal nudity, you know, perverted situations and characters. I don't mind it. I'm glad there's something that's not clean. So it's very nice. Can I say nice one more time? I'm your only friend. I'm not your only friend, but I'm a little glowing friend. But really, I'm not actually your friend, but I am. Oh, sorry. So I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. A couple images here or there. Might check it out. Might do some review on if I look into it further. Magical Eyes. Yaida Masaki, a part-timer, working as a janitor in a large publishing company. Company. <laughs> Blue Canary in the Outlet by the Light Switch, who watches over you. Anyway, his hobbies include fantasizing about other girls, masturbating, whoa, <laughs> and creating cosplay outfits for his fantasy girl, Oikawa Maiko. She's the daughter of the company president and a faraway existence for Yaida. Uh, so it's wake recently, Maiko has awakened to her magical powers that were asleep inside of her. But she has trouble controlling them. More often than not, she ends up completely naked. Yeah! And either unconscious or able to move. Um, yeah? <laughs> Michael's mother has assigned Yaida to be her guardian. Ah, to control her powers. To control her powers and become a proper magical girl? Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Anyway, it had four volumes, 25 chapters, from October 2012 to November 2014. Comedy Echi Harem Seinen, Serialization and Grand Jump. I've seen images of this. I, I don't believe it's translated, sadly, but I'll do what I can to find, look what I can, and get my hands on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it looks very interesting. I love the art design. Very nicely done art. The story, of course, seems cool. And this would be something that would be very interesting to see done as an anime. Why is it an anime? If it is, let me know. <laughs> but I think it's pretty good. What are your thoughts? Finally, Decapie. Big Boobs Police. The cover looks more of a older style kind of anime manga look. But at the same time, a little bit kind of Americanized. I kind of like the look of it. It's very welly drawn. Welly drawn? Welly drawn. Welly drawn. <laughs> I have a secret to tell from my electrical well. It's a simple message and I'm leaving out the whistles and bells. Blue Canary and the outlet by the light switch. There. Big Boobs Police. How could you not like that? Synonyms? KGP, KGP, huh, 2013 to 2014, action comedy, action, ecchi police seinen, serialization, manga goraku, to what manga goraku is, uh, a couple of interesting titles on there, so very interesting, more older stuff look, the styles look more older looking, I like the sound of this, I don't know much info on it, I'm gonna look into it, if anyone knows ways to do it, let me know, I would love to review these and see more of these, and get my hands on it, again, so what do you think of these, 
I got more that I'll do separately. But thoughts? Have you been enjoying some manga, some anime? Anything you want to let me know? I know there's some that have been commented in some videos that I should check these out and review them. They're on a list. Some of them I've forgotten. If you could remind me again, I'll gladly do them. But uh, that's until then, keep fappening. Keep it fappening. That's the same supposed to be like happening, but fappening. But anyway, just fap to anime, girls and guys. You guys and gals. Later. Ding, 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 